Well, hello everybody. It's wonderful to have you with us. So I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, the mission event starts today. Now, can I say to everybody who is not attending or participating in it, can I ask that you would pray? Would you be one of those people that pray? that sits under this event and be the engine room of the event. Some years ago, a very famous pastor was asked the question, how come so many people were blessed when he, when he uh, held his services? And for a long time, he didn't say, anybody, uh, say anything to anybody or explain it. And then one day, a journalist asked him and he said, well, come and have a look. And he took them around but underneath this giant church. And there underneath the church were 700 people who prayed all Sunday mornings when the church services were on for the people who were attending the church service. And he said, this is our engine room. Well, we have an engine room that we have a group of people that pray for the ministry as well. So I want to say to you, if you're not attending, uh, don't stop and go, well, that's not relevant to me. Do the work of preparing people so that they would come into a deeper relationship with God, but for those who can attend. Thank you to everybody who has sent in money. When you heard that there were people who couldn't afford to pay, there are so many of you who have helped pay for the registration costs of those who can't um, afford to come and uh, to register. Thank you. To those of you who, if you genuinely are unable to pay for a registration. If you send an email to this address with the words free registration, I'll happily bless you with a registration. If you have discerned in your heart and conscience that you can't afford to pay it, I'm happy to do that for you. You'll get a registration form in reply and then you will have to register yourself. Uh, now, to be mindful of the time that the event is on, it, all the times on the website are based around the east coast of the United States of America, and then you find your place. For example, in, in Australia, the event won't start until sa Saturday morning because of the time zones around the world. So when you get your registration form and let up, uh, look at the times, it's going to be a butte event. I'm so pleased that so many people who will not be attending the event are going to be at prayer for the event. Now, if you haven't registered, it's not too late. Do so right now, and you'll be able to watch it now and in the couple of weeks afterwards as well. Well, in this last, when I'm preparing to speak at an event, one of the things that I feel like I need to get my heart ready to do is that I feel like I need to prepare my heart to be in the presence of God and to be open to God. And, and I'm far more mindful of, of the presence of God in my life. I've become very mindful of needing to ask God's forgiveness and to make sure I'm in a good place with him and then to seek after God, to seek after God. It's the same in all of our lives, isn't it? When things happen in our lives, that there are moments when we need to seek after God. We need to seek after him with passion and seek after him with enthusiasm. And we're all in that place, aren't we, at times of having to seek after, of having to seek after God. And in, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 6, it says this, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Look at it again. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. There's a promise in this scripture that if you thirst and hunger after righteousness, you'll be filled. Uh, what's righteousness? Well, there's a couple of ways to understand righteousness. Righteousness is to be, is to be in right standing. I'm in right standing. I'm in the right place with God. And to say, well, blessed are those who hunger and thirst to be in the right place before God. If you are, you will be filled, right? And so righteousness has this sense of being in the, in, in the right place. Righteousness also has this sense of doing the right things, the right things. When I remember just before I got married, or many years ago, I remember I, in, in that final few days, because I was, I was getting ready to meet God, I know marriage is about meeting your wife and uh, for me as a, as a husband to be, it was about, but, but I'm about to step into who God's called me to be. 
I remember before our first child was born, our children were born, it was important that I stepped into righteousness to prepare for what God was doing in the next stage of my life. As I've sometimes moved home, for some of you who've moved maybe homes or you've started in a new job or you've moved into a retirement place if you're an older place, an older person, if you're starting a new job or you moved, what are you doing? You're always stepping into a new place. And if you pray for the righteousness, the, to be in right standing in that place where you are, you will be filled. And so bless, blessed are those who hunger. I really want this. Uh, and thirst, I'm, I'm parched, I'm searching for it. I'm, I'm, I'm really hungry to be in the right place with God. I'm really thirsting to be in the right place with God. You'll do the things that you need to do. Uh, I know in my life when many years ago I wanted to get a particular job. I remember for a month before that uh, even found out that I had the job but it was being considered. I went to Mass every day, I prayed more every day, I really third, sought after God. And I want to say this to you as, as you get ready for whatever the next step is. And for me, it's this mission event that's about to happen that God would bless and it's going to be such a phenomenal event. Uh, we are, I already know just in prayer, so many people are going to experience miraculous things in these next few days. Is, is I want the presence of God because I can't do those things. And, and so I want to be in the right place. And so if you thirst, you hunger after righteousness, or in other words, and, and we can even change the word at times to, we hunger and thirst after God, we will be filled with God. I encourage you today, what are the things that you need to do in your life? What do you need to do to get yourself ready to be filled with the presence of God exactly in the place where you are in your life right at this time? Whether it's a marriage, whether it's where you're going to live in, in your older years, whether it's a new job, whatever it is, whether it's going on a holiday, those places where we'll encounter God in our life. Because remember, where, where is God? God is in the ordinary things. That's where, where do we meet God? We don't meet God in the church alone. We meet God in the ordinary things of life. They're the place of righteousness. It's the ordinary things of life. Uh, to prepare ourselves for Him. So what do you need to do in your life to prepare yourself to meet God today, exactly where you are? Loving Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise. We do pray your blessing upon this event, Lord, and for all the people around the world that will participate. Lord, I thank you in advance for all those who will be at prayer and intercession for it. Lord, for the prayers and the intercessors, may your anointing come right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Bless them that they would encounter you as they intercede for this event for the people that will be in attendance. Lord, we pray for your church, that this would affect your church around the world. And Lord, we give you praise and we give you glory. Lord, where do we in our lives need to seek after you to be righteous before you so that we will be filled? And Father, we make this prayer in Jesus' name through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, when you see me on Monday, I expect to be very, very tired. But uh, hey, it's going to be a great weekend. God bless you. Talk to you tomorrow. And don't forget, wherever you are, God's never, ever, ever far from you.